Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. Today's video is a deep clean, organize and declutter with me. I am focusing on a few areas in my kitchen, the dining room and also living room that I have been pushing off. All of the spaces we are working on today are in serious need of a declutter and also to be reorganized. I love sharing Kanmari style projects to hopefully help you find the motivation you may need to get something done around your home. I know I always end up tackling something off of my checklist when watching any sort of organizational video, so I hope that I do the same for you. If you like this style video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you are new. I love for you to be a part of this community and let's just jump right in. I can see it Every day I start my morning by emptying the dishwasher so I can get any of the leftover dishes from that morning's breakfast or from the night before straight into it. And I'm currently rinsing out a salad spinner. We use it all the time. If you make a lot of salads, this is life changing. You have to let me know if you use one down below. You need one in your life if you don't currently have one. I wash any lettuce, even if it says pre-wash because there is always a recall on lettuce. I feel like that's the number one thing that's recalled. So I'm just skeptical of it. And I think this one was from Bed Bath & Beyond. I've had it for a few years, but it was pretty inexpensive. But anyways, in a few minutes, I will start the decluttering process and I will be following a form of the Kanmari method, which basically means everything comes out of the cabinets. I touch every item that I'm organizing and ask myself if it's serving a purpose, are we using it? And if so, I will keep it. Otherwise, it will be set aside to be donated. When decluttering any part of my home, I like to be realistic about how much I can actually tackle. Eventually, every single one of these cabinets does have to be reorganized, but if I did that all at once, I would feel way too overwhelmed. So that's why I am only working on three today. The middle cabinet, the one that I'm working on now, is a corner cabinet, so it can be extremely difficult to grab out everyday plates and bowls from in here. So what's practical for us would be to keep items that we use often, but not daily in this cabinet. And as you saw in the before picture, I had a ton piled in here. I didn't even know half of it was in here. So after I take out all of the plates, bowls, cups, everything, I'm going to wipe down the inside of the cabinets to make sure they're clean, go through each item one by one to see if we're really using these things. And if not, it's time to let it go to make more room. As I was doing this, I also realized I needed to go through the glass and cup cabinet, which is the one next to the one I'm working on now, because most of these things made sense in there. So that one's next but let me know if you have any recommendations or tips on how you organize best in your home
Radio. After making all of the piles of what I'm keeping versus what I'm donating, I'm just going to put everything back where it belongs or into its new home in the cabinet, and then I will show you a before clip and what it looks like after. so cold get over yourself are you for real Okay, so we are moving on to the snack cabinet. It's extremely small, which is good for us because it limits what we can have in there during the week, but it's also very hard to keep organized. As you can see, I just end up throwing things in there. So I put some of the snacks into clear containers you will see from Ikea. I have been on the hunt for small, narrow containers forever. They are usually way too long or wide for these cabinets, and I finally found these the other day. They fit perfectly, and they are not only aesthetically pleasing, but they are also functional. You can really use them for anything, cereal, chips, whatever you want. I'm just repeating the same steps, cleaning the shelves, and then going through all the food to make sure nothing has expired or gone bad. Okay, so this is just an overview of everything that I'm getting rid of or donating. This box is empty. You saw me empty the straws out. This was an extra lid. We had a ton of these extra lids that didn't fit any of the cups that we are currently using. So I'm getting rid of those. Um, just some random things. This bowl I don't ever use. This basket, it's pretty old, so it's time to throw that out. I will be keeping this bottle holder. It will probably go underneath the sink for cleaning products. I haven't figured it out yet. And then this Christmas cup, I don't need it in the cabinet with our daily mugs, so I will move it somewhere else and take it out during the holiday season. It just is taking up space in that cabinet.
The next cabinet that I'm working on is in our dining room and currently stores extra glasses, alcohol, trays, 100 white candles that you'll see, and some random decor. Once all of that stuff in here is out, I use a Swiffer dusting cloth and this cloth really sucked up so much dirt, it was shocking. And if you are new here, I recently painted this cabinet white and spray painted the hardware gold, which is why the inside is a different color. And you cannot use products on this cabinet. I learned the hard way, as you can see, that middle cabinet is stained from using a product on it. So I'm just dusting. I sorted the items into categories and decluttered what I no longer wanted. And now I will get to working on putting everything back in a more organized fashion. I'm finishing this area off with dusting and then I'm going to show you some before shots of the cabinet to remind you of the hot mess it was and then the after shot it's so much less cluttered so much more organized and I am super happy with the way that it turned out
I'm still loving the Jaws Glass Cleaner. Let me know if you've tried this brand of products before, but I will be using that today. And then I will be decluttering the console in my living room. This cabinet ends up being the place I throw anything I don't know where to put. So it's basically a catch all. And if you remember, I actually did go through this cabinet a few weeks ago. It always seems to creep back up. So it was about time again. Here is the pile that I will be donating. It's always hard to part with things that you spend money on and I feel so guilty doing it. But at the same time, I know that I'm not using these things and I'd rather go to someone who will. And if you do like decluttering videos, make sure you subscribe. I will be going through all my closets that hold linens upstairs in the next few weeks and also my pantry, which is a complete disaster. It's actually scary in there and will probably be a whole video in itself. That's how long it will take. So be sure to stick around so you don't miss those videos in the future. You are seeing me carry up some of my new bedroom decor, so that's a little sneak peek. But once I'm upstairs, I'm storing all of the decor under my bed. That way it's all in one place and easy to find. And then I'm tidying up in here, making the bed, and getting to laundry.
I could be a perfectionist when it comes to things, but when it comes to laundry, I could care less what it looks like. I just want it folded and out of the way. Let me know if you're like that or if you like to fold things in a specific way. I do fold some of my t-shirts and pajamas the Kanmari way, but I'm very relaxed with it. I'm not super specific, but let me know in the comments what you guys are like. And then we are moving back downstairs to finish cleaning and I'm just vacuuming. Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest The first recipe is a low carb tuna melt. I'm starting with two zucchinis. I would average about one per person and I'm cutting them in half and then coring out the inside. You do want to pre-bake these for about 12 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. And once they are tender, you will fill them with a tuna, which I added red onion, jalapeno, celery, and Greek yogurt to. I substituted the mayo with the Greek yogurt so it's less fattening. And then I topped with some cheese and put back in the oven until it's melted. They pass and I knew it wouldn't last when tears dream down my face. My mama said all the nights that end in heartbreak gonna pay off someday. And the pain that you're feeling gradually fades away. Cause growing up, falling in love, giving your all might not be enough. Just trust your head. The next recipe is the best corn salad. It's perfect to add salmon to or barbecue chicken. If you try this one, you definitely have to let me know. You wanna make sure that you're using corn that is not cooked. I know it sounds weird, but it's just crunchier and adds much more texture. And trust me when I say that it's definitely better that way. Okay, so into this bowl, I'm mixing in some feta cheese and then some mint. You can also use parsley, basil, whatever you have. This is just some mint. And then a little drizzle of olive oil. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you back here in a few days. Bye.